In less than 24 hours now, the Trump administration will officially come to an end, but the effects of the president's claims of election fraud will likely stick around well after he leaves office. Our Lauren Edwards talked to the president of the National Bar Association about the impact that could have on elections to come. January 6th was a terrible day in the history of the United States. Um, everybody has heard not since 1812 has there been an attempted coup, and it was an attempted coup. Again. C.K. Hoffler was horrified by the events that Wednesday, when hundreds of people attending the Stop the Steal rally in D.C. illegally entered the nation's capital. She says it was domestic terrorism. And they were there on a purpose. They were there on a mission. And the mission was to take over and to kill if necessary. Hoffler, who's the head of the National Bar Association and a voting rights expert, says the supporters at the rally share the belief that the election was stolen from President Trump, something she says lacks any real proof. There were judges officers of the court, many of them appointed by the Trump administration who sat in judgment and looked at the evidence and looked at the facts and dismissed the cases. She says there was no fraud found in any of the swing states, including Georgia, where she's head of her own law firm. She says lawyers worked alongside hundreds of grassroots organizations fighting voter suppression in both the presidential election and the Senate runoffs, which led to the state turning blue in the presidential and Senate elections. There were so many extraordinary organizations that went door to door to Georgia to voters to encourage people to register, to make sure they were registered, to check their status. And that is what made a difference. She believes the way forward long term is to put in place the John Lewis Voting Rights Act, which would give people of color and marginalized communities voter protection. But short term, she says justice needs to be served and the people responsible for the violence and destruction at the Capitol need to be prosecuted. We have to hold those who are accountable for those terrorist acts in the chain of command, all of those involved accountable for what happened. That's the only way that we can restore justice to this country. In Grand Rapids, Lauren Edwards, Fox 17 News. And Alfred says that currently the John Lewis Voting Rights Act, uh, Act is something that the Biden administration is considering. She is hoping that it passes before the midterm elections in 2022.